Movie number seven, just the final in the introduction to MAD Mapper 1.2, just looking at a real key feature that we haven't covered yet. Essentially, this is putting in a, in a background image that can help you map your files. Now, initially, we just worked with um, the background image that was added as a quad. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the output window in terms of the preview. And uh, this is great to build all your quads up, particularly if you're going to project a background as well. Of course, we can turn anything off so it's visible or not, and we can even sort of uh, lock it as well. But what I want to show you is our background is essentially what we're, we're projecting onto. So we want to map it and basically see how it's going to look in the output window, but certainly not project it. So let's just go and have a look and see what that's about. What I'm going to do is, as of course I've turned off this background image, when I first map the file, I'll just turn it back on for just an example again. Let's click it here, get that back in, and I'm going to go back to my files and I'll turn on the background. There's all the background all in place and we could easily map it from that perspective. With the background off, of course, we can't see it. So what you do is simply go under View and go down to Change Preview Background. Select an image, whatever it might be, in this case the scene here. And if I add it in, there's our background. But the advantage is, when I now go back to my files, I can click on my drag and action background in this case, being a movie file, and here it is with live action all in place. Of course, if I go back to my preview, it doesn't show it as we mentioned before because we wouldn't want to project that image anyway. We are projecting onto the background. But at least this way, you can see it in place and also help you map it. Now, when you bring a file in, it will come in at the size that it was created in, in the pixels. You can, of course, change your stage size, but um, ultimately you're at the mercy of your projection size. So just be wary of that when you're working up any of these forms. Anyway, um, enjoy MAD mapping in 1.2. And of course, the next stage is to go to the live production.